Did you know that marble is a metamorphic rock? This means that it was once a different type of rock, but has undergone significant transformation from its original igneous, sedimentary, or metamorphic form. Marble has been around for a considerable time and has been a popular material for building and home decoration for generations. In today's Lord Gizmo video, we'll explore the process of marble mining and its transformation into a countertop. Marble is typically extracted from open-cast quarries, large excavations made into the Earth's surface to access stone formations below. The extraction technique depends on the type of marble and the specific quarry. For instance, Cremar Marfil Koto, a popular marble variety, is extracted using vertical cuts, while other types may require horizontal removal based on local geography. A fascinating aspect of marble is its veining or patterns, which provide a unique appearance. These can be streaks of color, swirling shapes, or even golden-like particles. One notable variety is the Sinai Peninsula marble, known for its creamy yellow hue and speckled pattern. It's important to note that marble extraction doesn't always result in perfect, consistently sized blocks. The final block's size and shape can vary depending on the quarry's conditions and extraction methods. However, with careful planning and advanced equipment, these variances can be minimized to ensure optimal marble quality. After extraction, the marble is cut into slabs, a process involving a combination of manual labor and technology. Since each marble block typically weighs between 6 and 15 tons, heavy machinery is used at mining sites. Marble formation is a gradual process, occurring when limestone underground is subjected to high heat and pressure. The large pieces resulting from this process are then cut into slabs using either regular or wet saws, depending on the block's size or composition. A wet saw, for instance, sprays water onto the tile during cutting to keep the material cool and prevent cracking. Wheel loaders, built to handle large loads and operate in tough conditions, are ideal for use in quarries and similar industrial environments. These machines facilitate the rapid and efficient movement of large quantities of material, aiding in marble slab processing along with crawler tractors. Their 35-ton capacity enables them to move the marble blocks to manufacturers for further processing. In tandem with cranes and other specialized machinery, they ensure safe and efficient transportation. At the manufacturing site, blocks are unloaded, sorted, and then sawed into specific sizes and shapes. This phase requires meticulous attention to detail and precise machinery control.
The cutting process involves multi-wire saws, ideal for creating granite and marble slabs due to their ability to quickly slice through stone with a set of diamond wires. For instance, cutting a crema marfil block typically takes around eight hours, considering its weight and thickness. But the process doesn't end there. The slabs undergo further individual processing. One such process is abrasion, altering the marble's appearance to produce different finishes. Natural marble, formed from metamorphosed limestone or dolostone over millions of years, features distinctive veining, colors, and textures. In contrast, artificial marble, made from synthetic components like small marble pieces, stone powder, quartz, sand, colophony, plastic, cement and acrylic glue mimics natural marble's appearance and characteristics. To strengthen the materials for various uses, a mesh and mega epoxy resins are added, reducing breakage, healing cracks, filling holes, and reinforcing the slab's structure, thus enhancing its appearance and smoothness. Later in the process, CNC, computer numerical control, stone cutting is used. This technology allows for intricate patterns to be cut into stone without manual labor. After all cutting steps, workers ensure everything is smooth, proceeding with finishing and minor adjustments. Once satisfied with the appearance, they apply adhesive and join all parts together. Marble's density makes it resistant to heat damage, absorbing energy slowly. This quality makes it an excellent choice for kitchen countertops, fireplace surrounds, and other areas with frequent heat exposure. Its thermal mass also helps regulate indoor temperatures, reducing the need for heating and cooling systems.
Finally, the marble countertops are transported to clients. This delicate stage involves carrying the countertops vertically to maintain their integrity. They are secured to an A-frame on the truck using straps, chains or other fastening mechanisms with stabilizing elements ensuring safe transport. Carrying clamps are used for moving them around, preserving their finish and structural stability. And there you have it, your very own marble countertop. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of marble mining. We hope our video has provided insightful knowledge about each stage, from selecting the perfect slab to its careful installation. Please comment on your favorite part of the process. And don't forget to click the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos like this. See you in the next videos.